Dozens of people in downtown Austin were forced out of their homes and businesses after a construction crew hit a natural gas main. It happened just before 9 o'clock this morning on Colorado Street between 7th and 8th Streets. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil spoke with one neighbor who had to evacuate. Listening to jackhammers, smelling gas, and waiting around. That's how Will Bridges and his wife, Noelle, spent their morning. Just telling my wife to hurry up and, and let's get out of there. Their building's fire alarm went off, forcing the couple out of their home. Will and Noelle had to walk down nine flights of stairs and were greeted with this. Now you could see tons of gas just spewing up into the air. You could smell it. Austin firefighters say construction crews are working on a drainage line right here in this alley underground when they hit a two-inch gas line. That's when gas started seeping into the building next door. Unlike most places in Austin, downtown we do have places that have, they have basements, so uh, that subterranean, that's that where we're starting to get a little bit of uh, uh, levels of gas. Again, nothing that, that was explosive, but enough that, that if it crept up, it could be dangerous. Texas gas service workers had to dig into the street to squeeze the line off. AFD says emergencies like this can be common, especially with all the construction downtown, something the bridges don't want to get used to. We've had our water shut off a couple times, hitting water lines and things, so hopefully we'll learn from, uh, <laughs> somebody will learn from this and we'll be a little more careful moving forward. Reporting from downtown Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Crews ventilated the building to clear the natural gas, and people were able to go back inside before noontime. One building that was evacuated this morning is considered a part of Texas history. The Brown Building was once home to the offices for businesses owned by former President Lyndon Baines Johnson and his family. It's since been renovated into high-end lofts, this building was added to the National Register of Historic Places in the late 1990s.